Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all you walking in my death, who pushing his word with all truth and sincerity, and as well as to all you believers out there who believe in the gospel. And this is the brother Kwara Abad from the gym at Houston camp. Now, I want to go into another lesson. Um, you know, something I was just uh, meditating on, and as we see, and really I was uh, on the, you know, Deacon, Deacon Haka, his page, you know, looking at the recent videos, you know, skimming through them, seeing uh, what was said or whatnot, but uh, also checking out the comments. You know, you have people all in the comment, boy, all in the video, <laughs> all in the videos, all right, all in the songs. You know, just talking, talking shit, you know, in the comment board. Why? Because one, he painting, painting us at Great Millstone, starting with our apostles out to be, uh, you know, worse than people already uh, assume that we are. You know, uh, putting words in our mouth that uh, saying we teach certain things when we don't even teach that. You know, but um, as we know, the Heavenly Father, he exposing false prophets and even bringing light more so to the true prophets who preaching the Son. And in this process, you had the elect wake up to to, to hearing the word, hearing Yahweh Shah's voice. Because remember, no matter what, what is said, what goes on, the elect going to hear the word and the elect going to get sealed. And Yahweh Shah still going to come back for the elect, man. You know, but also I want to touch on this lesson for those who don't believe, who don't hear the word or who hear it, see the back and forth. It ain't just a car. It's anybody. It ain't just a car. believe it's all other people. IUIC, all other camps who don't believe the true doctrine, and not just them, even people outside the truth in the world who don't even want to come in to knowing the Israel, you know, who don't want to repent and get right. Two thirds, two thirds, as we say, two thirds Israelites, those who don't know they Jake, but look, this goes for them, and this goes for the ones who are in the truth, who know they Israel, maybe in certain camps. And it's, yes, the law is set up specific men on earth with a specific doctrine. And we believe and have faith that that's the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and brothers who teach the likewise doctrine. It ain't about a group. It's about what you teaching. That's what it's about. And if you don't believe what we teaching, then yes, you will die. Simple as that. You know, people say in the world, so you telling me if if I don't believe y'all, then, then God going to kill me. Nigga, yes. <laughs> you telling me if I, don't, if I don't stop eating pork. And then God go kill me. Yes, according to Isaiah 6, what did it, 66, right? The 66 chapter, Yahweh Shah go come back and kill the ones who still eating pork and the mouse and the so on and so forth. So yes, what we telling you is prophecy and, 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 and mercy as well. But if you don't repent, and it goes to even us in Great Millstone, if we don't continue in what we have been taught, what we've been teaching, if we don't not just continue and teach, but actually apply what we saying in our life, then the same thing goes for us. You know, I don't want to make it seem like I ain't speaking to myself. Yeah, all of us, man. You know, myself included. You know, we have to understand that the heavenly, <laughs> the heavenly father don't care who, what, when, and why. If you don't get down with what he say, then you got to die. And that's what it is, man. If the scriptures tell us that this gospel, what we saying is able to save our souls, Right, and we know the the balance of the Most High. So if this gospel is able to save our souls, if you believe, then on the other side, what, what then is able? If you don't believe, you gonna get put to death. Matter of fact, let's start with this, and we can get into it. Shouldn't be not long. It just you know while I was meditating on, because people you know scoff or oh, yeah, they believe this. So I'm an atheist. I don't believe in the Bible. All right, just because you're an atheist. Don't mean nothing to us. The prophecy is still going to come to pass. Missile still going to hit America. You're still going to die. <laughs> right? And we will get a scripture to, to specifically tell you, if you don't listen to us, you're going to die. Right? Well, let's get this real quick. This 1 Corinthians. I mean, 2 Corinthians 2. And I'm going to start at 14. And we'll get into the couple precepts that I wanted to get. But this 2 Corinthians... 2 and 14, it says, Now thanks be unto the Most High, which also cause of us to triumph in Mashiach, 
and maketh manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. You see? So as we preaching, Yahweh Shai is being made known. This, this, this good news is going out. That comfort to our people, man. Hope is going out. And this is what it say. As the prophets teach, this is what it say. For we are unto the Most High a sweet Savior of Mashiach. <laughs> the Lord, hey, look, we talking about... And look, that's another thing with these camps. They don't truly push Yahweh Shai. We pushing the one who the Father wanted us to exalt, man. Honor him just as we honor the Father. We honor Yahweh Shai. And that's, that's, that's good to the Most High. He like that. He likes smelling that and hearing that, man. But this is the thing. It says, for we are unto the Most High a sweet Savior of Mashiach. In them that are saved and <laughs> in them that perish. You see, Yahweh Shai, he's, hey, he's that stone of stumbling and rock of offense. And he go just as the Most High, balance power. So when he be sent down, you go have those to believe in him and trust in him. But you also go have those that get offended in the Lord. And that's not go believe him. And look, what, what will manifest if you believe in Yahweh Shai not? This word being preached out. Let's read it again. It says, For we are unto the Most High, a sweet Savior of Mashiach and them that perish and in them that are saved. Check this out. It says, To the one, we are the Savior of death unto death. So when two-thirds here, other camps here, they don't know. Y'all ain't got 100% true. They don't like what's being said. They don't follow the land. What is over go? Well, what we say, they, they get a vibe of destruction. They, you know, it don't sound good to them. And because it don't sound good to them, it's going to lead to their death. <laughs> right? But on the other side, it says, and to the other, the savior of life unto life. When we hear this word, this gospel make us feel good. We want to draw close unto Yahweh Shah. You see? We become more confident in what we believe in, which is going to lead to life. It says, and who is sufficient for these things? I'm going to read it in the NLT real quick. Like I said, it says, to those who are perishing. Let me start at 15. You should like it. 2 Corinthians 2 and 15, and I get into the precepts I had. 2 Corinthians 2 and 15, it says, Our lives are a Mashiach-like fragrance rising up to the Most High. But this fragrance is perceived differently. So this word is true, right? It says this fragrance is perceived differently by those who are being saved <laughs> and by those who are perishing, you see? Again, if this truth is able to save our soul, then it's also able to put you to death. Because it says, to those who are perishing, we are a dreadful smell of death and doom. They don't believe, they feel condemned, they don't want to come to the light because they deeds are evil. It says, but, the, but to those who are saved, we are a life-giving perfume. And who is adequate for such a task? Right, this smell good to us. We want to hear more. You know, we want to hear more prophecies. We're hoping for destruction. We want to hear about your Yahweh Shai, man, being exalted. You see? But I just wanted to get that real quick just to show that your Yahweh Shai, which is the word when it be preached, if you believe it could lead to, lead to life. But what I want to touch on for context sake of the lesson, if you don't believe what we're saying, yes, you, you will be put to death. If it's able to save your soul, on the other side, it's able to kill you, man. Let's get this real quick. Let's start with this. Second Ezra 15. Let's get straight to it. Second Ezra 15, and I'll start at one. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And that's what we're doing. We're prophesying, man. It says, Which I will put in thy mouth, save Yahweh. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So as we go out and prophesy, teach repentance, you know, uh, you know, the kingdom, you know, everything that we're going to to warn our people. When we do this, this is what the next verse says. But fear not the imaginations against thee, right? Don't worry about what these people think about us, right? How they feel about us, what they saying, the, 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 the response videos they putting up, right? Slandering us, making little emoji pictures when brother faces be zombies, don't trip on that, man. <laughs> Comments. Don't trip on that. Because it's going to tell you why. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. 
Let not the incredulity, incredulity of them trouble the incredulity is unbelief. You see, unbelief, they not believe in what we saying. But it comes down to this. So the scripture telling us, don't worry about how they feel about us or what they saying about us or how they putting us up on YouTube to look. And don't trip if they don't believe because it's go come down to this right here. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. This is the point for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Let them niggas die, man. <laughs> if you don't want to believe, cool. Yeah, how was shy when pulling nobody on you know, wicked scribes and Pharisees? Man, believe me, man. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the Messiah. Believe me, man. What they said. If you be the Messiah, tell us plainly. How, why you keep making us wait? What he said, look, I told you plainly. You're, you're right. But you don't believe because you ain't my sheep. That's what it comes down to. It's on you if you don't believe. <laughs> so what? So what? Believe what you believe in. We're going to believe what we believe in. We're going to see what that get us, man. That's what it comes down to. It's a reason Moses said, choose you this day, life or death. You got the option. Well, you don't got the option. <laughs> but, right? You know, you because <laughs> I, I don't want to say you got the option because it's all the Lord anyway. Leading, it says the deceive and the deceive are his. Right? But look, on earth, it may seem like you got the option. Go with your move, man. You see? Sex on the Sabbath. If you feel that's right, go with your move. Go all out, which I'm not condoning that. I say don't do it. <laughs> but if you feel like that, and go with your move and we'll see where that lead, man. That's what it come down to. At Look, at the end of the day, when a year, 2022, the year to turn up, I wouldn't be wanting to play with the Lord at all. You see? But let's read. I don't want to you know, speak emotional. Let's read it again, 2 Ezra 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Why? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Let them niggas die. Least they repent. Now, of course, we hoping our people repent, but if they don't, so be it. Scriptures say you don't even worry about those who perish. I'm focusing on being saved, man. I'm trying for me and my household to be on the good side of the Lord. That's what it comes down to. You see? It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Man, just like Yahweh Shah told the wicked scribes and Pharisees. Let's get that. He said, what? If you don't believe that I'm he, you're going to die in your sins. Right? You're going to die in your sins. And look, how Yahweh Shah here today? By the word. <laughs> By the word. So therefore, yes, nigga. If you don't believe what we saying, you're going to die in your sins because we're preaching how we're shy. And if you don't believe what we said, then you ain't believing in the Lord. That's what it is. Just like Cora, Dathan, and Abiram. They just couldn't, it just didn't sit right in their spirit that Moses and Aaron was the only ones the Most High set up. What they said? Well, Moses, we lead us too. Because <laughs> they was famous men in the congregation. They was leaders. Had, look, had a lot of subscribers and followers. Just like Sakara today, other groups. They was leaders too, saying, now nah, Moses, we leaders too. We known and respected too. The Lord ain't set you up. We also are the chosen people. The Lord dealing with us too. So Moses said, okay, let's find out. You do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. Get, get y'all sacrificed, you know, get that ready. And he, the, the Most High made known who he was dealing with by putting them niggas to death openly. So don't be surprised we start seeing these groups get put to death openly, judgment openly. Not not just a wrap the news or update from the wife. Shalom. No. Openly, all on the news. All on the news. Just like a regular person get cute, tell you they body got shot up 54 times. We might see those things, man. Again, we dealing with you. How about Shimmy? How was shy? And look how men doing this word. Look how men talking about his son. You know? Again, we say openly, the Lord opened up the ground. Swallow Cora, Dathan, and Abraham, and they follows up, swallowed them up, and then went on about the day like it was a regular day. <laughs> you feel me? Then some of them tried to run, he hit them with them, you know? Yeah, man. This is the time we coming in. So look, if, again, if they don't believe on your Hawashai, which is the truth, that one doctrine they're going to die in their sins real quick, this is your Hawashai, John 8 and 23. He said unto them, Ye are from beneath. I am from above. Ye are of this world. 
I am not of this world, man. And if you ain't Yahweh Shai sheep, you are this world. It says, this is the point, and I said, therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if you believe that I am, if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. So when the word was made flesh and came on the scene, if you didn't believe the word was him and everything he was about, if you didn't believe what he had to tell you about the heavenly father, if you didn't believe what he had to tell you about the kingdom, if you didn't believe what he had to tell you about the law, how about that? About the Sabbath. How about that? Guess what? The Lord said you're going to die in your sins, man. Right? So, again, if you're on the right-hand side of the Most High right now, then how do this apply today? The Lord is being preached. And if you don't believe what his men are saying, you're going to die in your sins. He said it. He said it. If they believe not you, they don't believe me. If they don't believe uh, uh, y'all and me, they don't believe the one that sent him, man. So again, if you ain't preaching this doctrine correctly and directly or not believing in it, yes, you will die. Simple as that. And it happened before. Noah, he told him, if you don't believe, get in this ark, you're going to die. Guess what? Everybody died. Lot, he told his sons of laws, if you don't, if you, look, the law about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Come on, let's get out of here because the law about to destroy it. They said they took him as one that mocked. They thought he was playing. They thought it was a game. Guess what? They died with Sodom and Gomorrah, man. You see? This is what we're talking about. Many other examples. If you didn't hearken, you, you was put to death. We coming into these times again. It's the last go around. We entering into a time like never before. So, look. Moses said, again, going back to Korah, Dathan, and Abraham, Moses told him, look, if the Lord kill y'all with a common death, then I ain't a man of the Lord. <laughs> in other words, Moses was telling the law about to take y'all out in an extravagant way, something the earth never seen, and he did so. So the point I'm saying that is, if we come into a time like never before, what you think these deaths about to be like? What scenes of great judgment you think the most high about to put on display? And remember, he said he's starting with those who know they're Israelites, his house first. So I, I fully understand, Lord, why you have these other men acting out the way they do. Because judgment God got to start with Israel first. And mainly the leaders, as it's saying Ezekiel 9. Right? So if you don't believe when your house shy, which is this word being pushed, pushed out, and what it's meant saying, and hey, you already know. Let me get this real quick. Ezekiel 3. Ezekiel 3. It's lacking more. Spirit getting a little wrapped up, but... It's Ezekiel 3, and I'm going to start at 18. Is it 18? Yeah, Ezekiel 3 and 18. Nope. So, like, I'm in Lamentations. This is Ezekiel 3 and 18. It says, When I say unto the wicked, <laughs> Thou shalt surely die. <laughs> right? Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 17. Ezekiel 3 and 17, it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So we telling you, it ain't coming from us. It ain't of the apostles to hold own interpretation. The apostles, the elders, it ain't of their own interpretation. We telling you, thus saith the Lord, man. Everything we send is from the Lord. That's why Romans 3 said that we might as be justified in our sayings. Because we ain't saying nothing of our own accord. We got the Lord words. But it goes on to say, so as we prophesy and warn the wicked, it says, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. So if the heavenly father telling us he got great judgments coming on the earth, and if you don't get right, you're going to die, right? We supposed to tell our people that. We supposed to give them that warning. But it goes on to say, and if thou give him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. So what we telling you is life saving, man. That's a lot, you know, animated and shit, but it's real though. This is real life. It ain't just YouTube we on, man. I don't know if Jake really, under, you ain't just posting YouTube videos. You ain't just making a scoffing response and just, just that's it. You put the video up and it's just people laughing and, and, and comment. Shalom, and it just off into the abyss after that. No, the Lord taking record of all this. Every idle word. Come on, man. So if we don't want a wicked, 
It says, nor speak to warn a wicked from his wicked way to save his life. So we're trying to save your life. And it's not us. I'm going to say that. It's not us. It's the Lord doing this. He allowing us to do this. First Corinthians 2. He created us to, to, to do good works in your shot. Man, we ain't doing it of our own. But it says... It says, "Thou shalt sh when I like it. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked ways to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. So if we don't prophesy, we don't do response videos. If the apostles and elders don't do a response, going as it would seem, doing a back and forth with Sakari." If they don't do these things, those members who trapped in that lie go stay in that lie. And they go die, but it's going to be our fault because we didn't want them. That's why we're doing these lessons. That's why the Lord got us doing these lessons. To warn the wicked. Because why? Again, again, is if we are warning you. And the next verse says, yet if thou warn the wicked. Right? And he turned not from his wickedness. So if we do warn them and they don't take heed, they just think it's GM, like what they say, GMS, right? They think we just niggas and, and just scoffers and dirty bums, right? So if we do warn them, they don't, they don't believe what we're saying. It says, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turned not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But... Thou has delivered thy soul, the blood off our hands. It's on you. Why? Because we told you, you don't want to take heed. That's your fault. You want to follow the man with more subscribers that you thought was the way? That's your fault. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, Broad is the way that leadeth unto destruction, and many there be that go in there at. We talking about that straight way. You know, we ain't, ain't not past the Dow either. <laughs> we talking about that straight way, man. Well, only the elect gonna go. That's why we fishing for the elect. Scriptures say, uh, "Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children." You know. But look, if we want a wicked and he don't turn, guess what? He's still gonna die. So yes, if you don't believe what we say and get down with it, you are gonna die. There's not gonna be no more cloak for your sins. Let's get that with your howard shot. Said. Let's see how long I've been going. Twenty-two minutes. I'm gonna wind it down real quick. This is John fifteen. Which I was shy, I said, because when he was on the scene, after he taught them and warned them, it was no more excuse for you. You knew. You had the truth in your face, literally. <laughs> it was literally in your face. Now, as he's on the right hand, you got the truth in your face again. All on YouTube, all on you know, social media, all on the highways and hedges. So now if you don't repent, guess what? It's no excuse no more for your sins. You watch the response videos. You watch the Deacon Destruction live shows and premieres. You've seen it all. You seen the back and forth. It ain't gonna be no excuse. You know? This John 15 and 22, this Yahweh Shah, he said, If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. Right? If the Lord ain't come and tell them their wrongs, then they would have been good. But it says, But now they have no cloak for their sin. In other words, no excuse, no covering. Right? No sacrifice for you. You see? No excuse. So now you heard people hearing today and the Lord got back and forth going on so you can get both sides of the story. Right? See how they going off and see how we preaching the Lord and defending the gospel. Guess what? If you seeing all this, it's going to be no excuse for your sins. Let's end it off with 2nd Edges 9. Let's end it off with that. 2nd Edges 9. We're going to get straight to the point. The second answer is nine. And I'm going to start at, because when you go into this, it goes to those uh, who believed on the gospel and they were saved because of it. Matter of fact, I'm going to just start, start with that. And I'll end it after this. The second answer is nine and seven. It says, I'm going to start at six. Second answer is nine and six. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders. And powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved, <laughs> right? The elect and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape, escape all the destructions that's coming. It says shall be able to escape. It's about to tell us how 
It says, by his works, from the work we, the Lord allowing us to put in, it says, and by faith, whereby ye have believed. See, so the ones who believe, they're going to be saved. It says, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. But remember, as we got to start in scripture, that's the ones who got that sweet savior of life unto life. They believe, truth sounded good to them, felt good to them. They continued in that and it led them to being saved or it's going to lead them to being saved. But the other, the two thirds is death unto death. They don't, they hate it now. They don't want to hear it. So when the time come, <laughs> guess what? They're going to have to die. So it says, then, so on the other side, we just read about those who get saved. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which have now abused my ways. And they shall, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits, Patreon, <laughs> right? Patreon, and benefits, you know, albums, you know. For such as in their life have received benefits, urban gorilla, and have not known me. And how you ultimately get to the Lord? Yahweh Shai. And most men don't have no idea who the Lord is. Now, you can acknowledge Yahweh Shai being a Messiah, him down on the cross, everything. But if you don't believe in that or believe in him and truly acknowledge that, it don't mean nothing. And a good example, John 11, Caiaphas. Caiaphas and the other high priest acknowledged that Yahweh Shah was the one to die for the nation. They acknowledged that this was the man, but still backdoored and wanted to put him to death. Come on, man. Seeing it today. Right? So it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, and Sakara would say, see, see, we keep, no, what's Romans 3? Now the righteousness of the Most High without the law is manifested. Go learn, go learn what that means. It says, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty. And when as yet a place of repentance was opened up unto them, which is what we're doing now, preaching, understood not, but despised it. And what's going to happen? The same must know it after death by pain, man. You know, so again, they got to die. You know, <laughs> anybody who don't repent, that's what it is. You got to die. And that goes for us. If we don't continue in it, look, we're going to have to be on the on the wrong side of the Lord. That's why we're doing to the best of our abilities. Thus save you. How about Shimi? How about Shai, man? I'm hoping we're a part of that elect. But with that, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want to give all praise and glory unto you. How about Hashem? How about Shai? By Shurn And in double honors unto the apostles. And that was a great millstone. And peace and blessings to all you I came out there. Who pushing his word with all truth and sincerity. And as well as to all you believers out there. Who believe it on the gospel. They keep fighting. Keep pushing. We're almost out of here, man. Shalom.